Hello everyone, Ikuni here, and welcome back to Frightober! <laughs> Frightober is a series here on YouTube where every day in the month of October, I post a video of a horror, Halloween, or monster-themed video game. Today's game, we end up coming back to Doki Doki Literature Club, a psychological horror game on Steam that is free, by the way, that so far has earned its tag of psychological horror. We start out with just joining up in a club of cute girls, and then things start to take a drastic turn. There is a disclaimer on the Steam page that says that this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. If you fall into either of those categories, please click away from the video now. Kids, you are encouraged to head on over to the YouTube Kids app, where video content is posted there where it's more aimed towards you. Um, I have been putting trigger warnings in my tags and this weekend I will be updating the uh, not profile art, the thumbnails for the videos to include the trigger warnings on the thumbnail itself. So um, as to basically, like, prevent people from watching things that will cause them to, get, you know, tr get just get hurt. I, I don't want to, you know, make someone relive something badly or put them in a bad place. So, um, thumbnails will now have trigger warnings uh, going forward. And, yeah. Um, but, yes, overall disclaimer, not suitable for children or those easily disturbed. Okay, so, last time we left off, we ended up writing another poem. I think this is our third one. Um, so, now we get to decide who to show our poem to. So, we are going to start with Yuri, because we seem to be standing this girl uh, through this... Um, I guess, I, you, I wouldn't really call it this playthrough, because the whole thing is a playthrough, but like... I don't know, th this, like, run of it. Because after we ran the course with Sayori, we technically started a new game, but it was always gl all glitched out. And then, you know, this, you know, you guys saw what happened. If you didn't see what happened, there's a link in the description box below to not only the Frytober, but also the Doki Doki Literature Club playlists. Go check out the other videos, but only if you do not fall into the kids are easily disturbed categories because, oh man. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Ikuni, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Ikuni. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch it when reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> You can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you'll really want, you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. What? Um... You know what? That's actually not the worst chicken scratch I've ever read. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell the poem was about. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Uh, I... I think I'm going to vomit. Oh. Uh, 
All right. Guess I'm showing Natsuki my poem next. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is it with you two? <laughs> it's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. I'll just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. Oh. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay. This is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Akuni? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all of these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Okay, what? Just Monica. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Akuni.exe has broken again, but not as badly. Don't say I didn't warn you, Akuni. What? No? Can you hear me? Apparently. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking... I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh huh? What about Akuni? Akuni's going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is? What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about now is dragging Akuni around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything. 
Okay, then why not let a Kuni decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let a Kuni make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Akuni, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Huh? Um, can I select Yuri? Hey, yay, you picked me! Not by choice. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking a kuni for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling a kuni away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered demonetizing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Akuni, Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Akuni, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> Well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Akuni. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Akuni. Just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you like a tauntaun. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Akuni. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Sure. <laughs> what? All right, then. What? All right, let me just take a moment and write a note down. Um, yeah. 
This definitely has a trigger warning. Great. Cool. I, I think the only one that hasn't had one was probably last episode within the past five episodes. Great. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Yuri? Uh, all right, seven. That's a lot of text that I don't know what's going on. And I can't tell if it's just repeating itself or not. Because I also did not save right before that decision like the game likes to tell us to do. Um, can I just... Okay, I think it's just cycling through stuff now. Um, yeah, it just, it's doing some three-liners. Was it doing three-liners before? Is my patience going to pay off? Probably not. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to reload and then go back to the choice. I'll see you guys in a moment. So I accidentally clicked on history, and this is what comes up. Yeah, so that's the intro thing. Um, so that might be, yeah. I'm just spending more time with me. Okay. Yep. Just gonna. That's me loading in the last save. Okay. Okay. Again. Try loading again. That so we went through sunset and nighttime. Let's try loading again. Morning. She's turning blue. Um now, note, I did not save at all. Like, I'm recording this on October 16th, and that's saying the 14th. Okay. So maybe if I save here, and then main menu. Right. Sure. So that was not a clever cut. Just so you know, that was me attempting to go to the main menu and it comes back here. Okay. 
Uh, let's try again. All right, I am. I have no clue. Can I just? I'm. I'm it's auto skipping. I. Okay. Oh, maybe? <clears throat> as long as it doesn't bring up my browser. Please let it be in-game help. <sighs> I don't like my browser. No. Oh. No. I don't want this. Can I cancel? Okay. History. Uh, quit. Okay. Game has been quitted. Let's start it up again. Okay. So that was unexpected. <sighs> I don't... What are I am going to end this episode here and try to figure out. Wait, are the blood stains on her dryer? Oh, I guess that threat was enough. Okay. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was pretty- yeah! ah! oh. Natsuki runs away. I'm here! It couldn't- eat. did something happen? So... I guess that was assumed that we stood there in shock for several days. Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Akuni? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. What? Monica? I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What? What? I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just have to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Okay. Hi again, Akuni. I'm going to end this episode here, and we will pick this up next episode. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm actually kind of very interested now. Uh, so yeah, and if you have future 
suggestions or if you have suggestions for future games for future fightovers or just games in general you want to see me play put them down in the comments below i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful time zone until next time my lovelies mm -hmm.